Yeah, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, that is Congresswoman Marjorie Green, and uh, that apparently that filter that she's putting over her uh, garage gym workout is the Holy Ghost or something. That's not my guess. This is what she's saying. She tweeted, "For those who believe God fills us with the Holy Spirit to guide us, Sunday workout, then church, strengthen your mind, body, and soul." Notice in that list of those three things, she put mind first, and someday she's going to get around to it. But anyway. If she wants to do CrossFit in her garage or whatever and have fun, that's great. I think garage gyms are great. If she wants to claim that the Holy Spirit is involved in her workout, that's perfectly fine. The issue is when that same sort of Christian zeal that she puts into doing her like butterfly pull-ups is turned to trying to do real harm around the world in the United States, but internationally as well. Because as excited as she is about the Holy Spirit in her workout, she's more excited in what's going on in terms of Christians in Ukraine and Russia. Take a look at this. He's talking about um, you know, confiscating assets from the Russian people, just like you said. Well, that's pretty much illegal. They're having a lot of problems with that. And Europe does not want to do it. And that's where most of those assets are. But let's talk about what this really is, Steve. This is a war on Christianity. The Ukrainian government is attacking Christians. The Ukrainian government is executing priests. Um, Russia is not doing that. They're not attacking Christianity. As a matter of fact, they seem to be protecting it. So that's something else that's clear and obvious to many people that are looking closely at what's going on. That is absolutely wild. All of it's untrue, and we'll get to that in a sec. But as a justification for cutting off aid to Ukraine and just opening the doors for the country and its population to be utterly crushed by the Russian war machine, to argue that you're doing that. You're gonna give the thumbs up to countless tens of thousands of civilians being butchered because you care about Christianity is wild. And that's where the Holy Spirit on the squat rack suddenly turns a little bit dark there. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. So first of all, a lot of the people in Ukraine notably are Christians. So when they're being killed, when they're being packed off into mass graves, that's Christians that are being killed by Russia, I would point out to Marjorie Green. But also to be clear, people on Twitter posted in response to that tweet from her, Russia has destroyed or damaged more than 100 Christian churches in Ukraine. And it's not surprising, they are after all like utterly without any consideration for targeting, bombing the hell out of the country. So they not only kill Christians and children, they also destroy churches as well. And in Russia proper and on the occupied territories, they point out Russia persecutes other religions, including Christian denominations other than Russian Orthodox Church. Look, getting into the nuance of the various little factions and all of that of Christianity is probably beyond the Congresswoman. She thinks in general though, the particular brand of authoritarianism of Russia is somehow better for Christians, I guess. And so that's, I guess, why we should cut off all funding and aid. Yaz, what do you make of this? So first of all, I thought that Holy Ghost filter, I thought like maybe that's her superpower from the eclipse, but then <laughs> There's a gym nearby where I live, and it's like a Jesus gym, but it's just a gym, right? There's nothing particularly Christian about it. So I always thought it was weird that they needed to inject Christianity into any and everything that they deem to be good in their minds, even something like physical fitness. But as much as I would like to believe that this is genuine on Marjorie Taylor Greene's part, that she actually believes in the goodness of Christianity, we know that this is all just branding, right? She has to brand herself as a good Christian. So then when she speaks out against something like aid for the Ukrainians as a Christian, people would be like, "Oh, that's a Christian stance to take." So that's all yeah. this is. That's all it ever was, and it's a really opportunistic and like sleazy way to go about um, committing to a political stance. Yeah, yeah, and look, look, I, I have often said, uh, sort of, I guess, maybe a criticism, maybe in defense of Marjorie Green, that she comes off to me like a true believer. A lot of people, I think, take stances, on whether electeds or media people, that they don't remotely believe. I think that she believes a lot of what she says. It's all insane. She believes, again, like Elon Musk, any conspiracy theory she comes across on the internet, there's like an 85% chance that she's just gonna believe it. Um, but I believe that she believes some of this stuff. The issue is that whether she's a true believer when it comes to Christianity or not, like most politicians, it's, it's just a defense. It's, I'm gonna do all this stuff that is objectively bad, that results in people's quality of life being lowered, results in people literally being killed. 
but I'm a Christian, so I'm cool. I'm the moral one. I'm gonna be like tanks are going to run over Ukrainian civilians. I don't care. Like I'm just I'm not interested in that at all. That's not what Christianity is about when it comes to politics for someone like Marjorie Green. It is a justification for repressing groups that she doesn't like, individuals that she doesn't like. That's all it for. It's not it's not leading to her leading a moral life or whatever. She's a literal millionaire. Most people forget this. She has millions upon millions of dollars and she's having fun in her garage gym. You know, people die as a result of what she says and does, but she's having fun, you know, like Jesus. Again, the, the, I understand that pointing out this sort of hypocrisy, especially on topics of religion, is utterly pointless. Uh, conservative Christians have always been preyed upon by hypocritical politicians like this, and they have never shown the slightest ability to tell what's going on. They continue to be conned by people, sometimes willingly. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.